Hi guys, this is Jesper and Jay. Welcome to this uh, Q and A. Oh, and um, how are you doing? I'm fine. How are you doing? You doing? Do, 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 do. I'm doing better and better every day. It must have to do with the 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 jersey, your, your, the jersey that you're yeah. wearing. It's my old it's hockey. It's like much more, much better, much more better days than bad days. So <laughs> so that that's good. That's great. Yeah, my yeah. my old hockey jersey from Maria Stad Boys, um, best team in the world um, after New York Rangers. Uh, Someone said uh, that uh, my uh, favorite album is Just a Race and Tales of the Thousand Lakes. And that's pretty cool because Tales of the Thousand Lakes is one of my favorite albums that actually was an influence for me back in the days. That's cool. Uh, yeah, it was. They, they're a great, great band. Still are. And uh, I'm doing better and better. I am. And um, I'm fighting to get uh, to to be on stage as soon as possible and you actually did a couple of songs with the halo effect in gothenburg uh, yeah last... yeah i did a guest appearance and uh, it kind of came back yeah it going me. it's going the right direction but... yeah i had so much fun and four songs and then it was over and i was like i want to play more i want to don't be like patched up i want to be whole when I when I go out on tour and to the stage again, so uh, but I'm working on it every day. I have a good support from my band, therapy, going to the gym. Maybe that doesn't you don't you can't see that. <laughs> That's why I have this jersey because I, it looks like I'm swallowing a tire. But uh, so uh, yeah. The first uh, single, Ready to Rumble, was released last year and uh, the, the whole album process was delayed a little bit. But in a couple of weeks, uh, new singles are going to start rolling out and uh, the album is going to be followed up <coughs> of two, three singles. So uh, in the end of the summer, the new album will be out. Right? Yes. And the singles are amazing. Uh, tour in Colombia... Someone asked, uh, we would love to come to Colombia. We would love to come to South America in general. Because I have been touring a lot. Uh, but I, uh, the su s southest I came is Mexico. So I never actually been in South America. So oh, I, I would love to. I really also. thought that you've been to South America. No, Mexico, uh, yeah, Mex I, I, Mexico is the only country that I played in as well, and I don't really consider Mexico to I've be. I've been in Panama and Costa Rica, but I was I was uh, uh, there for writing. Yes, I'm I'm still uh, involved. I was involved with the recording, uh, not as much as previous ones, but um, I was there arranging. I've been playing some guitars here and there, and did some riffs and stuff and uh, of course i'm planning to uh, to uh, return to the band I, I i don't know if you guys know that i'm the bassist yeah yeah uh, we, yeah we, we actually changed it in the live yeah. setup now so when you're coming I, i'm sorry when you're coming i'm back... sorry i just love playing bass so <laughs> i'm gonna replace mr aces as soon as possible you can expect um it's much darker it's uh, um, the the vocals are a little bit more gritty, I think, and um, the and the production is massive, and the songs are so much better. It's 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 uh, the best album so far. But everyone says that, of course. But, but uh, you can expect a little bit different album from No Halos in Hell. A little bit, as I said, a little more melancholic, a little more darker. It, but it's still Syrah, and yeah, it's, yeah, uh, yeah, it yeah. has. Of course, you hear it. Uh, big, big choruses and uh, yeah. and catchy, catchy lines and yeah. sing songs to sing along to. You hear Jake uh, in the background somewhere. Uh, and uh, we're not shy to use electronics either. So, uh, but we we have used electronics. And all that yeah, yeah, of course. So, uh, but but well, we just before I forget, uh, you were talking about the production. Mm -hmm. uh, Oige has been doing a fantastic job when it comes to mixing the album. Uh, so this is the first album that we have actually done in house. So I've recorded all the vocals here yeah. uh, and guitars uh, with you. And Oige has been recorded in uh, and Oige Switzerland. Was just, yeah, and Oige was just. I, maybe I will try to to mix a song and 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 and. and 
then after like six months, he, he he's amazing. Yeah. He's like, what the fuck is this? The 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 production. Yeah, yeah he's great. Who who, he's who, great. who who mixed it? Oige. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So he, not he's... not that we don't believe in Oige's no, uh, no, abilities to to I work with music, but I don't mean that. But I was so I was surprised. But really to be on the surprised. same level as all the other top uh, top mixers uh, in in ju- that short amount of time, that was actually um, a really impressive. Yeah, so, this yeah. production is much is is it's more massive. It's yeah. more like punchy. And you've um, actually already heard you heard Ready to Rumble, and I, I mean Ready to Rumble is is a sneak peek of the album. But but uh, I wouldn't say that's representative of the rest of the songs. No, maybe not. That? You have to listen to the singles.